At the Capitol with Representative Shane Jett. Shane, thanks for stopping mylegislator.tv. It's my pleasure to be here and thank you for providing the opportunity for me to be able to talk to my constituents. And a lot of representatives up on the website, mylegislator.tv. If you'd like to get to know the people who are making decisions for our state, visit the website. Some great news this week, though. When I, when I was over at your election night gathering, mm -hmm. One of the hubbub was, oh, we really need to do some things locally to the street from Shawnee to Tecumseh. Talk about the murmurings and what may be happening. Well, there is a stretch between, as, as everyone knows who lives in the area, that okay. between Gordon, uh, on Gordon, Gordon Cooper Drive when it drops into Beard Street, that there's an area that's restricted, kind of a bit of a bottleneck for uh, just two lanes. And the talk has been for quite some time to widen that to make it a four lane. And uh, we put a coalition together and then we had elections in Tecumseh and so we had to, to re-educate and get with the mayor and make sure that they were on board and, and working through the budget issues. And there's not a lot of money in small town America. And one of the neat things about Oklahoma, because we have 39 tribes in Oklahoma, we can partner with Native American tribes and the, the different municipalities to add additional blessing and benefit to the community. And one of the examples of that is the Citizen Potawatomi Nation is getting stimulus money. This was in the newspaper, and they're wanting to use some of that money to widen that area and further develop uh, that, uh, that road for, for the uh, citizens of Shawnee and Tecumseh. I think it's great because we're gonna create a commercial corridor further linking our community. So, you know, some, sometime in the future, we're going to have a, a Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex, you know, <laughs> connecting Shawnee and Tecumseh, which is great because it's, what's good for Shawnee is good for Tecumseh. It's good for the rest of the region. If they create jobs there, then people in Tecumseh can go get those jobs. That's right. And, of course, it opens up Tecumseh downtown for a lot of new traffic coming through from the Tecumseh area. So it works all the way around. But talking about this topic in particular, relationship building just like we try to build relationships within our community and with our legislator for impact relationship building with the native american tribes i know is something that you're passionate about shane i'm very passionate about it because at the end of the day no matter what tribe you belong to you're part of oklahoma and what we see is there's a lot of reluctance or people don't understand what what it means to be a, a tribal member and at the end of the day having those tribes here in Oklahoma create incredible economic opportunities. And, and one of the best examples, I was, I was in the Petroleum Club last night, and I was looking at uh, the, the former CEO of Kerr-McGee. You can't get a more quintessential Oklahoma company than Kerr-McGee. But today, Kerr-McGee is an account in Anadarko Oil in Houston, Texas. It's gone. But the same type of incentives, the same type of economic development that tribes have that money is going to stay here because at the end of the day they're they're employing Oklahomans and they're physically tied to the land that is Oklahoma so if you see the tribe, the Potawatomi Nation, or the Absentee Shawnee Tribe, or the Sac and Fox, and they're building new job bases, and they're, they're not going to have a corporate hostile takeover, and someone from Anadarko Oil is going to come in and buy up the Chickasaw Nation. In fact, the Chickasaw Nation, which is the, the, the Native American tribe directly south of us down in Ada, their economic impact to the state of Oklahoma annually is $10 billion, with a B, dollars. And that's money that stays right here in Oklahoma. Another example uh, with uh, uh, Chairman Barrett and, and the, the impact that he makes on Pottawatomie County alone is $300 million every single year. My first year in office, I tried to spend about $75,000 to develop a skill center at the, at the uh, correctional facilities there for the juveniles in Tecumseh. It was unsuccessful. That same year, they spent $300 million there in the state in, in the in the Potawatomi County. So by collaborating and working with the Native American tribes, it's just collaborating and working with fellow Oklahomans, but they have an edge and they have an opportunity to bring in federal stimulus dollars, to augment projects, to collaborate. By working together, we're gonna to build a better Oklahoma. And I I'm passionate, as you said, I'm very passionate about that because again, working together creates better communities. The tribes have shown themselves to be very um, very successful in the aspects of the infrastructure build mm -hmm. that they're able to do because they actually have some benefits from the federal government and the the process from uh, Shawnee to Tecumseh in the road building comes directly as from some of those benefits. Oh, absolutely. And you can't even drive north of Shawnee to Meeker 
wonderful four-lane, four smooth as glass. That was paid for by Sac and Fox Money. Again, partnering with the tribes, looking for ways to collaborate, builds better Oklahoma for everybody. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're Kickapoo, Sac and Fox, you're Oklahomans. Mm -hmm. And by working together as a family and recognizing that we have an ace in the hole. In fact, we have 39 aces up our sleeves yes. because we can begin to negotiate with the federal government, getting opportunities that make life better for everyday Oklahomans, whether they're Native American or not Native American, we all benefit because they're here. And, and I, I compare this story, I, I like to make this when I'm visiting with Native American tribes, is it's a lot like the story of Joseph in the Bible. What happened to them, being forced out of their territory and put into Oklahoma, was a, suffer, well, a huge suffering. But like Joseph said to his family, you know, what, what was meant for evil ended up being a blessing for his family. And what was meant for evil and was done inappropriately and, 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 uh, and egregiously today is an incredible blessing to Oklahoma. And once we figure out that by leveraging those opportunities and working in collaboration with our Native American tribes, we are going to be a real powerhouse here in Oklahoma. But again, it takes us working together. Yeah, the entire state is really a tribute to the, the spirit of the tribes that are within our state and the success story that can come from the grit and the hard work and the intelligence that it has taken to raise them as to having one of the biggest economic impacts in our whole state. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for tuning in to MyLegislator.tv. And as always, Representative Jett, thanks for stopping by. Daniel, I appreciate the opportunity to make this available to uh, my constituents and constituents all over Oklahoma. Thank you.